work European AP. They are willing to integrate the European API with their products. Well, the atmosphere is, is, really, is really fun. You take a photo of a, of a painting and with our image recognition algorithms we can display you all the information you need. I really enjoy the European Hackathon. This is my second one. It's, it's fun to be here. It's the moment of the open data. Timebook is just like on Facebook, we invented centuries ago, exploring the content of European in a more engaging way. You'll meet some interesting people and you'll have fun. The great thing with open data is it really widens the scope of what can happen. You get more ideas, more innovation, and it's better for the world. You can use this application on your tablet or your smartphone. You can select objects from the museums of, of Europe. You can organise them on your screen. You can tell the story about them. Common cultural heritage is common and it should be freely available for everyone. It's a collective memory of the people. It's important that it is free and accessible for children and teachers. Time Mesh is a smartphone app. It allows real-time comparison and overlay of a newly taken photo of a historical object with an old one found in European. It's a very exciting time for us uh, at Europeana. It's the first time we're experimenting actually with reuse of material. It's really exciting to see the momentum inside the Europeana project for uh, maximizing the reusability of metadata about cultural works. The purpose of Europeana is of course bring people in touch with Europe's cultural heritage and that will just quicken that process and make it more effective and more interesting and more playful. I am promoting creativity through hackathons for innovative apps, competitions for the best websites like the ones we will celebrate today and tomorrow.